I am literally taking to the skies today and en route to Petite Aerodrome where Pro Wings provide training for would-be drone users. Now there's loads of confusion around who needs what kind of license to operate a drone, if any. That's why we're going to get the facts. Hi, beam me up Scotty. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking too much space, so we just took to the sky instead. We're zoning in on the science of drone, the legalities, the myths, all of the above today. So I'm with Ian Melamed, who is the CEO of Pro Wings. Tell me where the drone status is right now in terms of legalities and myths. <laughs> right, there's two parts. Let's understand. There is the commercial part, and then there is the hobbyists. SAMA, the South African Model Aircraft Association, handles the issues of the hobbyists. It's important because of third-party insurance. The commercial side is completely different. You need to A, register your aircraft. B, you need the aircraft airworthy. C, you need your air service license. And then finally, you get that wonderful thing called an ROC, Remote Operators Certificate. Now you can't get any of that without having a fundamental, and that is a pilot. And the pilot needs his remote pilot license, he needs a class four medical, he needs a radio telephony license, he needs to have gone through a host of theoretical examinations and then finally, there is the skills test. Because you can fly a drone, does not make you a commercial pilot. There's a big switch in mentality. People need to understand that you are flying for money. There are rules that go according to flying for money. And that's where a lot of the present hobby flyers who want to be commercial pilot flyers are struggling. They're struggling to understand that they're moving from recreational people to becoming aviators. You don't, as a commercial pilot, impact on yourself. You impact on the whole community of commercial drone pilots. In South Africa, we're talking about making you a commercial pilot on the understanding that you will behave responsibly. This is a complete difference to all the other countries. That's what made South Africa the leader. So flying drones are here to stay. Ian, you have been a wealth of drone knowledge. <laughs> and there are six words that I get from you, which is location, 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 obey, obey, obey. <laughs> I'm with qualified RPL instructor, Michelle Miller. Now you were one of the first two in South Africa to officially be licensed for That's drone right. flying. Why did you decide to go that route? And does it feel better just to have that paper instead of being a hobbyist? It does feel better. Um, we were operating in Slutui in Falozi Game Reserve for anti-rhino poaching. And while we were operating the CAA decided to regularize the remote pilots, so we had to go through the system, get our licenses, 
And yes, it feels good, but it's also a very big responsibility to operate safely within the law. What is your drone niche? So what do you find you using it most for? We had 3,800 hours that we flew there and now we're running the school. So that was the basically training and the anti rhino approach. What are the qualities of a really good drone flyer or commercial pilot? Does it take lots of patience, perseverance? <laughs> uh, the flying skill is only a part of it. Um, responsibility, there's a lot of paperwork in it. You have to prove that you did it safely, that you did your checks, you checked the weather, you had authority to fly there. So there's a lot of paperwork involved. So now you're teaching, and what kind of fun do you get out of sharing the kind of practice of commercial pilot licensing? It's satisfying to see somebody develop and learn more and take on the responsibility of looking after their aircraft. How long does it take one to actually complete the training? In total, the process is probably about six weeks. Who do you find you're teaching the most? Currently, it's people who has been operating um, before the law came out and who actually wants to be legal and comply, get their little red book, obviously feel proud about it. But I can see as time goes on, we'll get more students that has no experience. Then we'll instruct them, take them from the ground up and teach them everything they need to know. Well, thank you so much, Mikhail. It seems that the future of professional drone flying is clear skies with lots of good sunny days.